Hello guys, my name is Daedalus, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use the world border command in Minecraft Java Edition. So, let's get right into the video. Do remember, while I'm doing this video, if you happen to try this yourself, and your screen kind of like turns red with like red vignette, and you can't see the world border, basically, um, you're probably far away from it. Because the world border is um, by default centered at 0, 0, the coordinates. You can use the center command to center it around you. So just to let you know in case you uh, uh, didn't know that. Alright, so let's start off with the simplest of the commands. We can do slash world border and then set. Now what happens here is we can set the world border to how big we want it to be. So let's say we want to do 10. Um, we have our world border 10 blocks wide. So we can set it just like that. But then we can also add the amount of time we want it to take for it to get set to that. So let's do 5 seconds right there. The 5 is for seconds. And we can change that 10 to 20 blocks. Um, so we can make our world 20 blocks wide and it'll slowly move over the course of five seconds. So if we click enter, it'll take five seconds for it to go to its position, and as you can see, it's green, and now it's turned back to blue. All right, so for the next command, we can just do slash world border, and then we can click add right here. And basically what this does is, as it says, it adds onto the world border. So we can do five, and now our world border is 205 blocks wide instead of 200 blocks wide. And you can just add on to that. We could do like another 10. So you can just add on to it like that way. Next, we have the world border center command. So if we go world slash world border and then center, we can either click these two. Um, uh, I don't exactly know what they're called. Uh, these things right here. Or you can actually put in a coordinates. But right here, what this does is it centers it around you. And then if I just hit enter, it'll center around me. So now the world border is, yeah, all centered around me. Uh, so we can't exactly see it because it's like 200 blocks away. I see. There it is. The slash world border um, damage command is our next one. And there's two different options after you type in slash world border damage. You have amount and buffer we're going to start off with amount so if we do amount right here we can set it to something like 10 damage and each one damage uh right here um is half a heart so if we do 10 that'll be five hearts um this command sets how much damage you take while going past the world border so we can set that to 10 and then if i um set the world border to only 65 blocks wide right here we can go past it with um, spectator mode, just like that. And then once we go into survival mode, you'll see that we're going to start taking loads of damage because we set that pretty high. After that, we have the slash world border um, damage buffer command. So instead of amount this time, it's buffer. And basically what buffer does is we could put this to five blocks right there and what this will do is oh i guess it's already set to that distance by default but we can change it to like a, a 10 right there and what this does is it says you have to walk 10 blocks past the world border which is kind of tricky to do you'd have to like glitch 10 blocks past it before you start to take damage the next command after that is slash world border get and really, there's not much to do with this. You just type slash world border get. And then once you hit enter, it'll basically just say like how um, wide it is. Which it just said for me that it's 65 blocks wide. After this, we have the slash world border warning command. Um, or slash world border warning distance command. And you can basically set how many blocks here. So I'll do it to 10. And basically what this does is um, when you go too close to the world border, your screen will start to have like um, a red vignette around it. 
and basically you can set the amount of blocks away you want it to be before your screen starts to turn red. So I just set it to 10. So if I go over 10 blocks away, see my screen isn't red, but if I start going around 10 blocks um, close to it, within 10 blocks of it, my screen will start to turn red. Okay, so the last part of the world border command is a little tricky to explain, so I'm going to do my best to explain it. So if we do slash world border warning and then time, basically, as we saw with the set command, the world border can, we can slowly move it over a period of time. It can move from one spot to another if we um, set it to something like that. So basically, we can set this to 10 seconds. Now what happens here is if this, if um, the world border happens to be moving in, if it will reach the player within 10 seconds, your screen will start to go red, warning you that you better move away or else you're going to be caught behind the world border and you most likely are going to get killed. So that's about it for this video, so hopefully this helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!